Good morning and welcome to Indaily's 2009 McGarry Medal Predictions. I'm Harry Thring. And sitting beside me is our SNFL guru, Chris Kendall. Chris, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Harry. Good morning, viewers. Now, we're going to be previewing your top five picks. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Number five, Port Adelaide's Brad Murray. Look, Brad's had a fantastic season, Harry. He's the leading kick getter in the competition for Port Adelaide. He averages 16 kicks a game. Also been taking a lot of marks this season. Now, a lot of the top fancies aren't big on the mark tally, but he does take a lot of contested grabs. The one thing for him, though, Harry, is that they've only won four games, the Magpies, this year. They did have three games that were 18 points or less, and he did have some very big numbers in some of those games. The one thing that stands out is the clearance work. He's been fantastic in the centre, right under the umpire's eye. He won't lose many votes down at Alberton. So Brad Murray, the blonde midfielder, we know how much the umpires love them. Big chance. Now the next guy is a bloke that's won it before and despite missing five games this year through injury, uh, you'd expect Central District's Paul Thomas to poll well again this week. Look, you'd certainly think so. As you mentioned, he did miss the five games with the fractured finger, so he's not going to start out with too many. He does come home with a rush. Now, we know that he works so well off halfback at, down at the Ponderosa. We know that his disposal is pinpoint. More importantly, the umpires do like him. Even outside of 04, he's had some very good years in the polling. We know that he's the sort of player that can catch the eye, and he won't lose too many votes down at Central's as well. O'Sullivan will take a few from him without any doubt. Griffin at the start of the season, but watch Paul Thomas to come home very hard. He's a real smoky. West Adelaide's James Ezard is another one that will be up there. Uh, the former power listed midfielder has had a pretty handy season for the Bloods. Look, he certainly has, and the Bloods themselves have had a handy season. They won seven and drew one. That's going to be a big factor for Jimmy this year. He didn't poll that well last year when they were losing a few games, but we know that with their rise up the ladder, it coincided with his form. Averaging 21 disposals a match. A lot of those are handballs, but they are at the bottom of packs. Very good in the contested situation. We know the umpires like the midfielders with that side of things, and he has been pushing forward and finishing off with goals as well, a little bit like um, some of the other contenders. So James Ezard, his last three rounds were a bit quiet. He's going to want a few in the bank by round 20, but if he's within two or three of the lead around that point, watch for him. He's a really big chance, Jimmy. He's one of my favourites. You've got Jade Sheedy from the Sturt Footy Club uh, as your runner-up. He's won it before. Can he win it again? Gee, he's going to have to defy a bit of history, Harry, because the last guy who won it with more of a gap than Jade Sheedy is Andrew Jarman. Now, he's got a fair pedigree to follow there. Jade saluted in 2002, but he's been wonderful for them this year, particularly at the stoppage work. Averages 24 disposals, 11 of those handballs, but a lot of contested football. Again, it's the captaincy factor. He'll be right under the eye all day. He didn't have many breaks on the bench. He was rotating pretty much through the middle throughout the whole day. Worked very well throughout the clearance and the stoppage work. He'll come home very hard towards the end of the season, has a few big 30 possession plus games, and with Sturt going up the ladder and finishing well, he's a really big chance. And finally, Chris, your 2009 McGarry medalist. You've got North Adelaide's James Allen. He receives a lot of attention each week from the opposition, but it never seems to slow him down. Look, it certainly doesn't. Um, there's a lot of former McGarry medalists in the pick here, which shows just the longevity of some of these players, and James Allen's right at the forefront of that. He had some massive games this season, averages 30 disposals, and in the last eight weeks, he had some big um, tallies of about 38, 40 possessions plus. North Adelaide's, uh, their form's been a little bit fluctuating. That might be one thing that does hurt him. With such big numbers, the umpires won't be able to ignore him. His work through the middle is excellent. He has pushed forward and finished off with a few more goals this season as well. We know he's got a good history of polling. There won't be too many vote getters at the Roosters to take votes away from him. Damon White at the start of the season possibly, but we'll find Jimmy coming home very hard and by round 23 he'll be in there at the business end. So there you have it. There For a more in-depth McGarry Medal preview, just log on to www.independentweekly.com.au Chris Kendall, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Looking forward to tonight. Have a nice day.